Y'all, I'm recording this on my phone because I just got home. But I haven't been feeling the best. So I'm about to take. So let's see. I have never had to take a pregnancy test before, so I don't know what the heck to do. So I'm definitely about to read these instructions and figure out what to do. Come here, baby. Come here. <laughs> Come here, baby. Yeah, he's a junior. <laughs> What's up, y'all? We are headed to 36 week appointment. We're now at one week appointments. <clears throat> Don't mind my. Every week. Every week appointments? Yep. I got a lot of mucus. <laughs> Uh -oh. Don't worry about it. Nine right. months pregnant. But yes, we're about to check and see. I think today they said they're going to see if I'm dilated. So I'm about to start the vlogging process. This is the labor and delivery vlog. So Woo! Let's see. Nervous. I'm nervous too. I want to know if I'm dilated or not. And yeah. what I need to do to get it dilated. My face looks bad. But yes, I'll be back. We'll be back once we get to the doctor. It does! You still look beautiful. Thank you. Once we get to the doctor, we'll be back. Yeah, so... I already did my pee test, but my doctor just came in here. Well, she's the doctor's assistant. She came in here. And the first one took my blood pressure. It was high. So the second assistant came in. She took my blood pressure. It was still a little high. So they got me just in here until they come back and test it again. And she like, if it's not lowering, then my doctor's probably going to send me to the hospital. And if my blood pressure don't low after a couple hours in there, they might try to have a baby. So I'm in the dairy side here. I'm listening to our gospel music and relaxing because they not gonna stress me out maybe it's fine and also when she was checking his heartbeat he like kicked that was after she gave me that information so i guess my son is now mad because he, they're trying to play with him talking about blood pressure is high and all of this other stuff man listen so yeah just wait until they come back up in here to check, check my uh blood pressure again we'll see what happens <laughs> Okay, so I want to keep y'all updated. Y'all already know we got some Panera bread. I wanted a smoothie, and the Darius got his food and bread. But we're headed over here to walk to the hospital area, and we'll see what happens from there. But I feel pain in my shins because I need to stand down. We've been standing. Oh Lord, I don't know where to go. Princess. Okay, there we go. Yeah. But I'll update y'all when we get there because I need to tell y'all what's really going on. But yeah. All right. Bye. We're asking so many questions because we don't know nothing. <laughs> triage. What, what, the, what, 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 the, what is a triage? We're in triage. I don't know what that is. Alright y'all, so I'm um, just waiting on a doctor. I took another urine test. Y'all know how that go. They're trying to check and see if everything's fine. Darius actually just went to get my dog because Charm is in the car. Y'all, we really thought this was just going to be a regular checkup appointment and everything's going to be fine. We did not think I was going to be getting admitted to the hospital and possibly about to have my child. But basically y'all, he's really big um he's growing fast and it's almost too big for my body so that's what's making me swell up my feet are like huge um i'm gonna insert a little picture that i took the other day of my feet yeah they're getting big and he's just growing it's not a bad thing he's not under stress or anything like that but he's just growing up very fast i'm sorry y'all i had to pause because i just read this thing on the wall it said to protect the privacy of all patients visitors and staff photography and videos are not allowed in the hospital waiting areas hallways or during delivery and other procedures what man we vlogging this anyway y'all i am 36 weeks and three days i could possibly be having my child today no 36 weeks and four days um, i'm excited i'm very excited i actually want to meet him like if we have him this week i'm gonna be so excited we just need to have my car seat in the car the car seat not in the car because we was not prepared <laughs> But yes, that's it. That's all. I'll talk to y'all in a few. Another update. I am here. They have baby being monitored as well as my blood pressure being monitored too. She took some blood tests on me. I also turned the lights down because it was so bright in here. Can y'all hear my son? What's the numbers back there? They going up and down though. I don't know what those numbers are. But yeah, they checking blood pressure and baby's heart to see what's going on down there. Probably gonna fall asleep, y'all. I'm tired. That's the update. I'll come back to y'all in a few. 
Doctor came back in. I forgot to update. Doctor came back in and said, basically, baby's doing beautiful. We already know this, but I am the one with the high blood pressure still. So, uh oh, you sleepy? Oh, yeah. So, me too. <laughs> so, she paged my doctor to see, like, if we want to meet the baby tonight, like, if the doctor is trying to do that, or if she just want to see me, like she said, Friday, she want to see me again and we do it then. I really hope for Friday. Only because we have no clothes here. Like, we don't have nothing. This car seat is not in our car. We're not prepared for any of this. I need to just take tomorrow off and just get myself together. But, <clears throat> yeah, my unfortunately, my blood pressure is still high. So, she trying to see, like, what do we want to do next. So, I'll keep y'all updated. Did you transfer me over to the room that I'm going to well that we are gonna stay the night in they do have visiting hours but it's from like 8 to 8 and it's 6 46 right now so my mom will have to literally fly here so i'm gonna let her know she's probably not gonna come tonight we need to get our clothes and stuff so darius is gonna go ahead and do that oh we got our music plan i got some music plan and but now we're about to order some food because we're uh starving i go that sign again man i am recording okay it's my first child i'm about to lay down because i'm cold and I'm wobbling. And this shot that they put in my leg, making my leg feel numb. But I will update y'all and see what happens. Darius is trying to see if that's the bathroom. And I'm scared. Oh, it is. <laughs> yes. Right, he had his own agenda. <laughs> Y'all, another update. It is like 8.20. We're watching the basketball game now. I'm laying on my side. <clears throat> on my side because laying on my back hurt. My mom and my sister are about to bring our clothes. Because like we keep saying, we did not know we were staying here. Or else we would have been there, but we are not at all. So they're about to bring our clothes. I'm wearing the same clothes. Yeah, he's going to be wearing tomorrow. I don't know why, but yeah. That was the update. I'm probably just talk to y'all tomorrow. Unless something crazy happens tonight. So... Hey, baby boy. Good. I'm ready to see you. <laughs> but yeah, I'm tired, so probably we'll update y'all again tomorrow. Then we'll go from there. Okay? Okay. Bye. So she just left after taking my blood pressure. Then it went down to like uh, 120. Eight, where it's supposed to be pretty much so it was normal but it keeps going up and down so they just gonna keep me like she like just we're just gonna keep monitoring so she's coming in again at like two in the morning to check me but me and the dearest can take a shower so i'm tired of being in these clothes i'm tired of being uncomfortable so we're gonna take a shower real quick and then i'm gonna update y'all probably i said i was gonna talk to y'all again tomorrow but i just wanted to let y'all know my blood pressure did go down but we're still here i'm out of breath and i got this bag on because the iv we don't want the iv to get wet so yeah i'm literally all baby though and we're gonna get in the shower it's so weird it's not even a tub it's just literally the water just goes right here so yeah darius is so excited we both are so excited so excited yes about to have a baby hey about to have a baby hey you dancing, you're gonna make that baby come out. Okay, see y'all in the few. Look, they done shot me up. Gave me up. My leg feeling better, as you can see. Yeah. Gonna take y'all. Probably gonna talk to y'all tomorrow for real this time. Yeah, feeling better? Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. checking on his heartbeat but basically um the doctor just came in this is not my doctor that i've been seeing unfortunately she's not on call tonight or this weekend she was not on call until next weekend bro oh i'm so mad but i am he just turned on all these ones but <laughs> Like what was I saying? She came in and basically said my induction would be scheduled for Thursday or Friday. Which is so freaking crazy because I literally just told my doctor last week I do not want to be induced. I want everything to be natural. So hopefully I start contracting soon or something because I don't want to be induced at all. 
I want everything to be natural. So I'm going to ask them if they can bring me in a yoga ball and stuff like that so I can start making him come down some more. He's already down. Like, he's at my lady parts. Yes, induction is scheduled for Thursday, Friday. Today is Wednesday, so induction is scheduled for within the next two weeks because Friday I'll be 37 weeks. Right now I am 36 in five days. So they want to get me to 37 weeks, but if not, We'll see. It all depends on like my labs. She came back in and said my labs were looking good. My blood work was fine. My blood pressure was back to normal. It's on the way, so maybe that'll make you feel better. She said, like, 9 to 9 o'clock. We got 14 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't mean necessarily she's going to come back 9.15, though, because, you know, last yeah. night. <laughs> no negativity. What? Yeah, she's going to come back at 9.15. 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 Yeah, she's going to it came earlier yesterday, so yeah, she right. said 45 minutes. They came in 15. Right. She said, like, nah, nah. it's our full flight. <laughs> the heck? Yeah. I'm tired, though. I'm what you doing, baby? Right now, I edited the video. Uh-oh. I'm tired of all this stuff, but I'm editing the video and getting an iron transfusion in my arm. I have to wait till that bag is all gone, so it can take like 30 minutes, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Drinking my water. I can also get up with this, thank the Lord, in case I can keep that one. I need some more, huh? Yeah, I need some more. Yeah, I got you. That's pretty much it for y'all, uh, editing. Maybe it's over there. He's fluctuating from the bed to the couch. Because <laughs> he's going to be in the way. But that's it. Let me go fill that up for you. So, so update it is what time is it what time is it 3 41 p.m may 24th and we're about to go to finally do the ultrasound and check on aj see his growth he's been kicking and moving a lot i, I feel like he felt it that it was coming but yeah we're about to transport there now all right y'all as you can see it says no cell phones allowed we just finished the ultrasound basically long story short they try to play with the dude and say he couldn't come what how? Tell me, you can't. You're not allowed in here. It was just one lady that picked picked us up, uh, picked me up. I've never seen that damn life. But I'm gonna tell my nurse as soon as we go back, like, mm -hmm. you know. And she was rude about it too. Anyway, we just finished the ultrasound. Um, she just finished getting the numbers that she needed, so she's gonna come back to see if she needs anything else, and then we'll go from there. But there's so many calm down because we don't need my blood pressure going up again. So I'm gonna just calm <coughs> down. It's all good. The lady let him eventually come. The lady that did the ultrasound. She was like. I don't know why she did that. Like, our rules are not like that anymore. I'm wow. like, exactly. She literally wow. said, she was like, your husband's over there? Oh, he can come? I was like, now he got to go all the way to the fifth floor. He don't know this building. Like, if she would have been difficult, he could have just came. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we just finished the ultrasound. I'll give y'all an update. Bye. Hey. You gotta update them, baby. Got the yoga ball, the peanut ball, 
so she can bounce on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we're excited, y'all. I just felt like two contractions. I've never felt those before. It's in my back and that joint hurt. So I can't imagine the real ones. But hopefully and prayerfully. I already know God got us, but it's going to be a smooth delivery. And we got our music playing. It was playing on AD phone when he recorded it. And I don't have no story, so I'm deleting it. I wish wow. I had my camera. But That yeah, means you have to play the music then. Mm -hmm. So I can record. Okay, I'll do that. But yeah, we'll keep y'all updated. That's what's happening. I haven't gotten inducted yet. They're going to induce me soon. <sighs> Talk to y'all later. Bye-bye. How you feel? I feel good, baby. I'm just cold. Cold? Yes. I feel good. I am cold as well. You cold? Yeah, it's pretty cold in here. It's freezing. I'm about to tell them when they come here, I need some heat. But, you. But, babe, I cannot punch you out. I know I'm going to get high. I'd rather be high than freezing cold. Now I'm comfortable and my back hurt. And, and, and. I'd rather have the heat. <laughs> I wish they could see your face. <laughs> but, and I got some music. Yes, baby. Yeah, let me get a refill. Water. I've been drinking my water because when I got down here, I can no longer eat solid foods. So, you better see. <laughs> That's it, y'all. Yep, we getting ready. ready to see our baby boy. So, y'all watching this, pray. Pray. We'll keep y'all updated, bro. Yes. We'll definitely keep y'all updated. My baby, she good. She's just cold. Um, I'm going to get a heating pad for her. And I'm going to fill up her, her bottle as well. So, what? Nothing. Okay. It's covered. Oh, great. I ain't going to put me out there like <laughs> I mean, it could be a different type of video. Babe. Music playing in the background. <sighs> My baby, she's in pain because the uh, contractions are getting a little worse. So I'm giving her her water, trying to really take her mind off of the pain. So as best as I could, as best as I can. You want to tell them how you feel, baby? Hmm? You want to tell them how you feel? Um, it feels like period cramps really, really, really intense periods. The music is keeping me calm. It's good. It's good. It's raising me and going through this back pain. It's all in my back, my lower back. But yeah. That's our main goal, to meet him, you know? So always keep that in the back of your mind. He told me and induced me like, I wanna say 30 minutes ago. Was that kind of painful a little bit? It just felt really weird. Yeah. It didn't hurt. And they said that she was already one centimeter, so. Yeah, I'm one centimeter. They uh -huh. normally expect people to be like zero. Right. So it was good that I was one centimeter and they were shocked. Yeah. And they expect me to get to three centimeters within like an hour or so. Baby so, boy's ready to come out. He ready. Yeah. I'm ready he's always been ready though. Mm -hmm. You know, he's always been low. I'm like, dang, every time I touch your stomach, he's like super low, so. But yeah, keep praying for us, guys. Um, oh, okay. We'll be right back. Uh, so it is currently, um, it's three minutes to 12, so it's about to be May 25th. Um, I'm having contractions galore. If you look over there, all that green, Every time it goes up, there's been a contraction. So, baby is ready to come out. Yeah, my mom just left. She came and dropped all of our things off. She's gonna be back in the morning because I'm having them tomorrow for sure. I'll probably have them overnight. The way these contractions are going. Oh, by the way, they induced me at like 9:45 ish. I told y'all that. But at around 11:45, I want to say when she came back in after the the balloon came out of me, the balloon came out of me. I was four and a half centimeters dilated. So within an hour, I was I gained three. I mean, um, I dilated three centimeters. So it is now about to be 12 o'clock. Should be 15 minutes later. I'm pretty sure I'm about 
to five centimeters. So maybe AJ is ready to come and we are so ready to meet him. Yeah, I'm just dealing with these contractions. And as I was just talking, I was just getting one. But the more I talk, like when I'm talking to people and laughing and stuff, I'm good, I don't feel it. And that one was really high. Um, yeah, so there's that. I was just trying to update y'all. We'll be coming back in and out. I'm sleepy. Aries is so tired. He keeps yawning. His eyes are red. But yes, we'll be back with another update really soon. Anything, babe? I'm tired. I know. <laughs> it's 2.10 in the morning. Maybe it's finally sleep. Thank God. I know he's tired, but you know what's going on? Contracting like a mother, y'all. Give you another Another update soon. <laughs> yeah, she holds yeah. right now. Oh, okay. Oh. Yes. <laughs> okay, let me get some work. Did she get to hold him yet? Yeah, she holds yeah, right now. Oh, okay. I can feel what he is. He looked good. He just made some child baby. Welcome to the world. This is my baby boy. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, he's so cute. Oh. May 25th, 10.50 p.m. And our baby is sleeping. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> He's such a precious baby. But yeah, just catching y'all up. We're gonna have to tell y'all the real story. Man. The craziest experience of our lives, for sure. But for now, we're just soaking in all the baby cuddles and trying to rest up. So we'll talk to y'all soon. Say bye. Say bye, AJ. Okay, y'all, so this is me about a week and two days later. My baby is nine days old. He's currently breastfeeding. But I just wanted to clarify, y'all, that literally the birth happened so fast, y'all. I basically slid out the chair, <laughs> well, out the bed. Like, I was sliding down out the bed because I felt so much pressure. And it hurt so bad, y'all. So I was, like, sliding out of the chair. I'm literally, like... <sighs> like screaming at everything and Darius is trying to like calm me down and massage my back where the contractions were like nothing was working because um his head was out of me <laughs> and I knew I felt something like when I fell down there I'm like bro I feel a head or I feel something so my nurse came in and she's like yeah that's his head we're getting ready to have this baby I'm like okay so we getting ready to have this baby, but I'm gonna have him on the floor. Like, what? She like, no, you need to get up. I'm like, no, I'm not getting up. What? We having a baby right now. So she was like, we about to just pick you up. I'm like, what? I said, no, I don't want to get up. So her interviewers literally just picked me up out of nowhere and then put me on the bed. And I'm like, I don't want to do it on the bed. I want to do it on the floor. Like, I was just grinding because I was hurting, okay? It is a pain to train up so before, but I will say, like, if you get really bad period cramps, then it's kind of like that, but it's like 10 times worse. Anyway, <laughs> it's crazy because at one point I was just telling them, like, well, I was telling myself, I'm like, I need the epidural. I need it bad. They had gave me that laugh, I guess. That joint did not work, y'all. Like, I tried to put it on my face and, like, I was breathing it in. And, it, like, I will say that, like, when I, when I breathe it in, I didn't feel the contractions as much. Okay, I still felt it, but not as much. It was crazy. I'm like, bro, this, this is not working. People told me it would work. It was not working. So I eventually just stopped. And then my nurse was like, I think it's best if you just like try to not think about it and just breathe it. I said, girl, what you mean not think about it? What? 
yeah they gave me that lap gas it did not work and I'm just like I need the epidural but I told myself that I was not going to get epidural so I forced myself to be like no you're not getting it you're not getting it and the dairy said like walked away and I was about to tell him like babe give me the epidural for real and at this point that's when I throw his head and I was sliding out the bed I was about to say give me the but I couldn't even get that out like I just was sliding it was bad it was bad but it was good in a good way so yeah they put me on the bed and then it was time to push like I was I was pushing but I didn't know I was pushing so the doctors like swarmed in it was like nine doctors that like swarmed in nurses and doctors they swarm in they like I said they they getting their gloves and stuff together I'm like I'm pushing him out literally I'm like ah. they're like don't push I'm like don't push what you mean don't push I literally said that I said what you mean don't push and then I was still pushing and it was like just stop pushing stop pushing we have to get ready so I'm like oh, I'm calming down the Darius is like kissing my forehead trying to calm me down I'm like I just want to get him out like it was a lot going on <laughs> so eventually they tell me that I can't push so I pushed and then his head came out in one push and I was kind of like scared, so I was doing like baby pushes because I don't I don't know what I'm doing. So I was doing like little baby pushes. Basically, he came out in six pushes. So thank God he did come out. But yeah, y'all, my birth experience was freaking crazy. I just wanted to clarify that after that last video that you saw, was it of me? Yeah, I think it was of me. That last video of me sitting there in the bed, things went left. Like I dilated so fast. I got to. I was at three centimeters dilated, I believe. I got to five centimeters in like the next hour. Next thing you know, literally in the next two hours after that, I'm on the floor sliding out the bed because I feel some pressure. I feel pressure. I feel like I got a boo-boo. I feel like I had to boo-boo so bad. I kept telling my nurse, I'm like, I think I got a boo-boo. She like, no, that's his head. I'm like, okay, well, can I just get it out? Like, you know, after that last part that cut off, I had the baby. So here we are, Adarius Jovan Stutz Jr. My little baby. But yeah, that was my birth experience. Adarius was trying to record during the labor part, but y'all, he just FaceTimed my family because it was too much going on. He had a lot of emotions going on and it would have been too much for him to record. So he just FaceTimed him, put the phone on the side, and was trying to console me. And then we had our baby. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed my labor and delivery vlog.